with a super exciting video because today I am going to be doing the first build video for my 2018 haunted house. Now what I'm going to be doing today is making a ferris wheel, a cardboard ferris wheel, as sort of a decoration to go into my clown hallway. Now I'll probably make another video where I give you guys the rundown on what all of the hallways are going to be and um, maybe even more videos on what's going to be going outside this year. I do have it pretty much all figured out. That's a part, a huge part of the process is just figuring out what I'm going to do. But one thing that I have already kind of told you guys that I'm doing and that I am going to be doing is doing a clown hallway in hallway number two. So hallway number two last year, if you guys followed me last year, was a bedroom type of theme um, with Levitated Girl, Menacing Molly. This year is 100% different. It is going to be a clown hallway. I have never done anything with clowns in my haunt before, but uh, that's the reason I got Towering Clown last year, because he's going to be going in there, and I was super excited to see the release of Hugs the Clown, because he will likely also be incorporated into that uh, hallway display this year. But what I am going to be doing is making this cardboard ferris wheel, so I'm going to tilt the camera down here in a minute and give you guys some time lapses. The first thing that I'm going to do is draw out the figure that I want. So I have three pretty large cardboard boxes, none of which are large enough to encompass the full size of this ferris wheel. I want this ferris wheel to be pretty grand. I'm hoping that I might even be able to fit some like doll clowns into it. And uh, one thing that I did think about was putting LED strips on like the poles, the rods of the ferris wheel. So I'm hoping that this is something that looks really, really awesome. I won't be painting it today, but I will be painting it hopefully tomorrow and it will be in this video. But today the only thing I want to do is uh, cut it into the sections that I want, pop the hot glue gun out, and hopefully assemble a pretty sick looking ferris wheel uh, decoration. So I just got a razor and two markers and what I'm going to do now is start the time lapse of me marking and cutting out all of the pieces that I need. Then I'll come back to you guys and hopefully the next thing that I'll be able to do tonight is getting it actually glued together. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. I will change.
again the next day. And I did cut that time lapse a little bit short. I figured that you guys kind of got the point of what I was doing. And also, I wanted to save more battery for what I thought I was going to do last night. But finishing all of the paint took me longer than I thought. And I wanted stuff to completely dry before I glue everything together, which is what I'm going to do right now. The stuff that I did do off camera, though, was finishing all of the quarters. So you guys saw me do like four of them. I did the other four. Um, I also you know, finished the other side of these little pieces right here. I painted that uh, paper towel roll, which is going to go in the middle of the Ferris wheel, connecting the two pieces. I also cut these sections out and painted them. I forgot to do them before, but what those are going to be is the stand that's like holding up the entire Ferris wheel. And one other thing that I did was paint a swirl onto this circle, which is going to be connected into the middle to make it look really nice from the front. And um, I guess right now I'm going to just go, go ahead and jump right into doing the time lapse and me gluing it together. You'll see that I didn't paint everything double sided because each side that's going to be facing the back, it's going to be right up and flush to the wall. So I'm not too worried about having some areas that aren't painted. So that did save a lot of work for me. But I guess I will jump into a time lapse of me gluing it all together and it hopefully standing up afterward. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to because it seems a little bit flimsy. But uh, I will see you guys back after I do that.
guys. So that concludes the first build video for my 2018 haunted house. I finally finished this Ferris wheel. It took me quite a few days, but it's finally done now. And it's gonna look so awesome in our clown hallway. It's gonna go right over here when you turn in from hallway number one to hallway number two. If you guys weren't with me last year, this hallway was a doll hallway last year and a bed was right here with Levitator Girl. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't seen it. But for those of you that do, you remember there was a bed that with Levitator Girl right here and it was actually my first build video last year where I made the bed. So it's kind of funny that now I'm making the Ferris wheel uh, re to replace it as my first build video. And I think this thing is gonna look super awesome. I'm hopefully gonna put some LEDs, maybe some red LEDs on some of these red strips right here to make it light up and look even more cool than it does now. And the bed still is going to be used this year just in part of the outdoor display, which I hopefully will be releasing soon. The ideas that we have are super awesome, so I can't wait to show you guys everything that we have planned. And uh, we did try to stand this guy up right here, but it's not able to support itself, sadly. This base is pretty flimsy cardboard, so it can't support all of this weight. So we are going to have to staple it or tape it to the wall that it's going to be up against. Luckily, it's going to be uh, flush against the wall, so it'll be easy to have it supported in some way. And then we also are probably gonna get some plywood sticking out from the wall that will be attached to this front part that will hopefully help that stand up as well so that the, that the front doesn't just fall off of it during Halloween night because we want this to be able to last the entire night. So if we do all of that, I think it's going to stand up fine, but that is why it's laying on the ground right now. We tried to stand it up and it just couldn't do it. Make sure you guys stay tuned because not only will I be continuing to do my sneak peek videos as Spirit Halloween releases those, but I also have a lot more build videos planned for this summer. Definitely more than I did last year because I need to get some more of this stuff done before school starts and I start running out of time. And hopefully it won't be as hectic as it was last year, trying to get everything done last minute. I will be getting some of the walls painted soon, hopefully a lot of the wallpaper up and more of the cardboard stuff made, which is all the stuff that I can get done beforehand and then when school comes around and we have the wall set up, it'll be a lot easier to just come in here and put all of the props where they're supposed to go. Whereas before, I had a lot of paint and stuff to do. It still will be a lot of work because obviously I have all the decorations to get out and hang up and all the props to set up and put out here, but it'll be easier when I have all these cardboard things made. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of this Ferris wheel in the comment section below. Let me know how excited you are for this 2018 season because Spirit Halloween Store will be opening up very, very soon, and that is definitely super exciting. So guys, I hope you enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys next time.